Hey, welcome to Drumroll. Today I have with me an international concert soloist guitar player. Born and raised in Rome, he graduated with distinction from the Santa Cecilia Conservatoire. He has won more than 40 international awards, been invited to perform at the American Pavilion for the Universal Exposition in Milano, and invited to speak at TEDx about the relationship between classical music and the younger generations. For some years now, he's been traveling the world offering concerts and masterclasses. His following is growing fast and for good reason. I'd like to welcome Gianmarco Ciampa. Hello, hello, how are you? It's nice hello. to see you again. Yes, yeah, good to see you. You're in Rome at the moment, right? Yes, it's uh, morning time in Rome. It's, uh, and also, it's very good weather. So today is a lucky day. <laughs> Ah, that's good. This year, the whole thing with COVID has changed the schedules of many traveling musicians uh, in a very dramatic way. How have you ended up spending your time uh, with all these international bookings cancelled? Well, it was a very difficult period for everyone. So, I mean, uh, I'm, I, I, can, I will not complain about it because it's uh, uh, something that all the people are uh, struggling and I mean, there are people that are struggling with uh, things also more serious than this. It's a complicated period for artists and musicians, but at least we are lucky because uh, uh, we have uh, our music, we have instrument, uh, we, we can stay at home and practice. Uh, and uh, also anyway, let's say my concerts online or my masterclass online. And also the, um, this year I was teaching in a conservatory in the south of Italy. So um, that was good because uh, I just took this job just like two months before the, the COVID situation in all the oh, world. Right. So at least it was good for me because uh, um, I usually didn't teach uh, in conservatories. And now we, we have also started again with the lessons and started again also with concerts. Some concerts that I started to play this summer, during the summer in uh, Europe, I played some concerts. Three days ago, I played in the opera because mm -hmm. sometimes I play uh, the guitar in the Opera of Florence, in oh, the yes. south of, in the, in the north of Italy. And uh, so when they need the guitar, like uh, the Barbeir of Sevilla or uh, Otello on other operas that has guitar, they call me. So like two days ago, uh, we just played the last Barbiere of Sevilla and then uh, Italy closed again the concerts. So now it's not possible anymore to give concerts in Italy. Yes, at least you were lucky that you could have some concerts through the middle of the year. That's good. So you have a, this wonderful connection with Australia. Well, you just keep coming back here. <laughs> what yeah, well. is your connection to Australia? How is it that this has happened? I have been in Australia three times in my life. And um, Australia for sure is uh, uh, one of the countries that uh, I have always felt in love uh, in, uh, in my heart because it was a very important country for me because maybe the first tour that I have played, the big first tour that I have played, perform uh, was in Australia like uh, five years ago. I mean, I discovered a country, wonderful country. I mean, every, every time I speak about uh, my travels and the world, I always mention Australia like uh, the, the best place I ever been. And uh, in the times I've been lucky to, to come back again. And uh, I've been uh, two, three years ago, and uh, when I won uh, the Melbourne guitar competition, international competition, and then I came back, came back also last year, mm -hmm. where I've been in Australia, and uh, uh, also in New Zealand was the first time. Also, New Zealand, I have to say, wonderful, wonderful country. I mean, I would say it's wonderful for me because now I have a lot of friends in all Australia because I have traveled uh, from uh, Sydney, Melbourne, uh, Brisbane, uh, Tasmania, uh, Darwin. Uh, I mean, I really travel oh, all the you've Australia. you've been all over. <laughs> you've probably <laughs> been to more cities than I have in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, really, I would like to, to come back soon. So let's say, let's hope that this period will be... It'll pass. <laughs> Yes, 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 that will pass very soon, so maybe uh, I can uh, come back to Australia also soon. That would be lovely, yes. So your connection to the Melbourne Guitar Festival, and you've got a lovely program coming up. You have a concert coming up. Do you want to tell us about the well, music that's in uh, your program? 
Yes, sure. I will play an online concert for the Melbourne Guitar Festival, Melbourne Guitar Foundation, on 7th of November. Uh, concert, uh, it will be about my last CD that just was out, that is called Rio. Oh, great. Like uh, river in a Spanish word. Okay. And um, this CD, also the program is about uh, the South American and uh, Latin composers that have been very important for guitar repertoire. So it's like uh, Villa Lobos uh, or Augustin Barrios, Manuel Maria Pons um, from Mexico. And uh, so it's like uh, all the, uh, Rio is the name because uh, actually all the, um, these, these composers are from the same period, more or less from the same period. And all of, all of them are from um, Latin culture or South American culture. But all of them have something really unique, a style of uh, writing music and of uh, expressing music. So I imagine that like one thing that is very common in all South America is that uh, there are big rivers, then they all go together, go to the Amazonian uh, rivers. And uh, so it's like, I was imagining like uh, that all the music from this composer goes in uh, like the music of South American and Latin music. So everyone is different, but all of them has some connection between them and all of them are very connected. They compose classical music, but all of them are very connected to the traditional music of their the home country. Mm, that sounds wonderful, like a nice variety there. We have like Villa Lobos, for example. I have chosen three pieces that are like the symbols of the music of Villa Lobos because uh, there is the prelude from five preludes, there is Mazurka Choro, and then one study from the 12th study of Villa Lobos. And then from Barrios, uh, I choose four pieces that are very unknown, two of them uh, really lyrical, expressive, like post-romantic music, and uh, they, they are called Confession and Oración. And uh, the other two, Arabescos and the Studio Bats, are uh, two very virtuoso studies. Barrios was one of the first virtuoso concert uh, soloist of very gift when he was playing. He was maybe the first concert guitarist uh, that traveling, was traveling the world with a guitar that was not so common at that period. Mm. I mean, it's not common even now, but at the period of Barrios, <laughs> even less. Yeah. And from Manuel Maria Pons, I will choose a piece that is very unknown, that is a variation on a theme from a Cabezon. And it's quite unknown because uh, Segovia never played it. And this is happens a lot in guitar repertoire. I mean, now we are discovering again, let's say, some of the, of the pieces that uh, are written also by famous composer for guitar, but not so played. And this is one of these. And this was the last piece that uh, the Pons also wrote. And I will end the concert with the, the only Italian composer, Giulio Regondi, that was a romantic period uh, composer. And he was a child prodigy and he was a very great virtuoso of guitar. And the piece is called Introduction and Caprice. And it's yes. really, really wonderful. I, I don't recognize his name, Regondi. So, uh, be Regondi, good. Giulio Regondi. Giulio Regondi, yeah. Well, when we speak about guitar, we always have to think about that. Also, famous composers for guitar are not famous outside from the guitar world. So it's like maybe uh, maybe we have some composers that are also famous outside, like Francisco Tarrega, maybe, or uh, Villa Lobos, maybe a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's more famous. But anyway, all these composers usually are from 20 or 21 century of uh, right. music. So romantic the, period, the, quite unusual then. Uh, yes. Right. Well, this sounds like a wonderful program. It's fantastic. So let's just run over the details for it. So the, the concert is Rio. It's in the Melbourne Guitar Festival. It will be on 7th of November at 2020 at 7 p.m. That's Melbourne time zone, which is Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, uh, which is yes. also GMT, the Greenwich Mean Time plus 11. It'll only be available live stream, not available afterwards. So you have to make sure you're there and ready to go. And the tickets are Australian, $22. It's very, very economical, especially if you're paying in Euro. <laughs> or <laughs> yes. pounds or American dollars. It's a very economical concert. Definitely yes. uh, looking in for. And you can buy your tickets at melbourneguitarfestival.com slash jan.
G-I-A-N. You can see that on the screen. So uh, that's looking very exciting. That's, that's going, they think it's going to be wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today, Gianmarco. Well, thank you very much. And I hope to see you on the 7th November at my online concert for Melbourne Guitar Foundation.